In this video, we are asked to determine the length of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side in a right-angled triangle. A right-angled triangle is a triangle with 90 degrees as one of the measure of the angles. Now this is a 90 degree angle symbolized by the square. Facing this right angle is the hypotenuse, the longest side, and we label that side C. Now, typically, if we want to find the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, C is equal to the square root of the other two sides squared and added. So we basically square A and we square B, add them, and then find the square root. So this is the formula finding the hypotenuse. So we take A as this side and we take B as this side. Any side could be A or B in terms of the two sides that meet at the 90 degree angle. But C is a side that faces the 90 degree angle. So in finding this hypotenuse, in this case C, we're going to take A as X plus Y and we square that quantity. Take B as X minus Y and we square that quantity. Now, to simplify further, let's square x plus y at the side. In other words, let's expand that binomial, x plus y. And to expand, we square the first term, so that's going to give us x squared. Then we're going to multiply 2 by the product of the first and second term. So that's 2 times x times y, so that's 2xy. And then we square the last term, so that's positive y squared. And for the next binomial, our two term expression, x minus y, we're going to square it. And to expand, we're going to square the first term, which is x squared, then multiply 2 by the first term, which is 2x, and 2x times the second term, in this case negative y, that's negative 2xy. And then we square the last term, so we're going to square negative y, that means negative y times negative y, that's positive y squared. So notice the difference in the expansion of this binomial when we square in it we have a plus in the expansion of this one we have a minus for the middle term but we're told to add the results so we want to add the like terms so when we add x squared to x squared we get 2x squared remember this is actually 1 x squared plus 1 x squared now positive 2x y plus negative 2xy will give us 0. That's the same thing as saying 2xy minus 2xy. Now 1x, now 1y squared plus 1y squared, that is 2y squared. So we end up having the square root of the, this result being 2x squared plus 2y squared. Now we cannot simplify this expression any further because they are unlike terms and so we'll leave this answer as is. Our solution is A.